Now, dear students, let me discuss about physical significance of curl of a vector point function. What physically means curl of a vector function f? Curl of f. This actually physically signifies the rotational sense. Physically, curl of f signifies actually the rotational sense. So let us take an example of a vector point function like B which is known as magnetic field intensity or magnetic induction or magnetic field. Curl of a magnetic field we know from MPS law that curl of a magnetic field B is nothing but mu0 into j. So it has a finite value. So the magnetic field B has rotational sense. Rotational sense. And unlike electric field, it does not converse or diverge to a certain point. So its rotational sense will be like this. This type of rotational sense we have find out for the magnetic field B. And we know the electric uh, magnetic field lines for a current carrying conductor, for an infinite long current carrying conductor like this. If uh, there is a current carrying conductor like this perpendicular to this plane, then the electric field lines are like this. So the magnetic field lines are like this. So, the magnetic field has a rotational sense which proves the MPS theorem that the curl of this magnetic field does not vanish. It has a finite value. So, B has the rotational sense and it has a value of this of curl. It has a value of curl. So, the curl of a vector function physically signifies the rotational sense only. But, we know for the electric field that if we take another field or another field that is electric field and we know that curl of E is equal to 0. When the curl of any vector field or any vector uh, point function is 0 then we say that and this vector has no rotational sense and this vector is actually irrotational vector irrotational vector irrotational vector so for condition of irrotational curl of a equals to 0 so when curl of a equals to 0 we can say that a is irrotational so this is the physical significance of curl of a vector point function Thank you.